Hello all, welcome to Aura Trainings. Welcome to another session on Oracle Apex. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a navigation menu in Oracle Apex. So in this session, we'll just try to understand how we can create a navigation menu, assign a multiple set of pages to show them in a hierarchical kind of fashion. Okay, so the design approach in this one is we'll just considering a table called XX EMP and make sure this table is available or maybe you can work on any other table. And the next thing is we just need to create an application. So in the application, we require four pages. So here if you observe, so the first page is EMP DML page, which is of style, which I consider as form interactive grid. The next one is a report, which is of interactive report fashion. And the next two pages are blank pages. They are DM, one as DML pages, another one is report pages. So what is the reason of considering this particular hierarchy kind of fashion as before getting into the detailed information, let me show you the result first. Then you can, we can easily understand what we are trying to achieve, okay? So let me run the application first. So here, yep, my application is running now. So here, if you observe, let me just navigate like this. So the first one is like the one which is a home page. When you click on home page, yes, this just shows what is your application name. So in the application builder, if you observe carefully, by default, when you create application, this home page, global page, desktop, login page, these are the three components or three pages which will be available by default. One is login page, other one is home page, another one is a global page desktop. So these are three things which are available by default, okay? So now when I click on home page, this is the first thing which will get available. Now here if you observe, let us say I'll just click on DML pages. So here if you see the DML pages, it's just showing a landing page for DML pages. And observe on the report pages also, if I click on report pages, it just shows reports landing page. So this reports landing page is a blank page and the DML page is also a blank page. So here if you observe, let me show you in the, my particular Apex application architecture. So there are two blank pages if you observe carefully, nothing but the static HTML, right? So the DML pages and report pages. So just consider these two basic pages without any content, okay? I'm just considering this as a landing pages, okay? One is DML page, another one is report page. Similarly, create a DM, create a DML page based on an integrated inter interactive grid kind of fashion so that you can achieve a DML functionality. Here, if you observe, when I click on EMP DML page, I just show, it just opens a particular DML page where I can perform modification, okay? And similarly, if you observe the reports page, EMP details report, right? This is just a simple report. It's an interactive report. Here, if you observe, click on reports, okay? So the creation of pages and all these uh, little bit things which we have been discussing in the earlier session. So the main interesting point in this one, I just want to highlight us how this hierarchy or navigation was achieved, right? So what you can do is there are a couple of navigation entries possible for this one. So the easiest way what you can consider is, now the major thing is we just need to understand what are these landing pages? Why do you require that, right? So now here, if you observe, it's kind of a navigation menu. Like uh, now this is my parent, see this is a, Home menu is one particular menu. DML page is one menu. Report page is one menu. So for each menu, you require a page also. So that's the reason for DML pages menu, I require a landing page. So when I click on report pages, I require a landing page also. I don't want to show my reports by default, right? So that's why this is a landing page. When a user clicks on this landing page, you can just see the hierarchy. I mean, you can see the list of pages under those particular menu kind of thing. It's kind of menu hierarchy kind of fashion. So now if you observe, so in the application, just click on shared components. And here if you observe navigation, right? So click on navigation menu. Okay. So desktop navigation menu. Now here if you observe, I have four menus, right? So what, first is home, we already know it. And DML pages, we already know it. DML pages and report pages, right? DML pages and report pages. So here if you observe, this EMP reports page is assigned to a reports page as a menu, a parent menu, and EMP DML page is assigned to parent page, this one, DML pages, right? So that's how it was assigned. Let's say that I'll just try to show you how I created menu, right? So that you can easily understand. Now I'll just say, like, uh, I'll just click on create entry. So here, when you click on create entry, it'll ask you what is a parent list entry. Let us say you want to create a new parent, right? I'll just say XX new parent demo. I'll just mention like this. Now, it will ask you what is the landing page for this parent demo, right? So now in this page, just click on this particular combo box and it shows a list of pages which are available in this one. Let's say I don't have any landing page. So for now, I'll just select 
this DML page as my landing page. Okay. Now just click on create list entry. Okay. Now just run it and let's see how it looks like. Can okay, you see? So this new parent demo, which will have a landing DML pages. Okay. Now what you can do, you can create one more entry. Let us say I want to assign the DML page and report page for this new new parent demo. Nothing but I want to assign two particular pages to this one. One is DML page and another one is report page. I'll just click on create entry. I'll just say X6 EMP DML page. Okay. And now it will ask me what is my parent, which is my parent. XX new parent demo is my parent now. So which page I want to assign? I want to assign EMP DML page. EMP DML page. I'll just click on create list entry. And if you want to assign an icon, you can just select the icons from here. Let's say I'll just select some icon. Click on create list entry. Let's assign one more page for this. Okay. Click on create entry. And select the parent xx new parent here you can easily see the hierarchy also the parent list and hierarchy stuff also now select the page i'll select reports page no not this one emp reports page right emp details report okay so i'll just say x6 emp details report now select the image classes now i'll select some image like this create list entry that's it okay it's auto saved there is no other explicit save option just click on run now we should see two pages under this new parent demo one is emp dml page and another one is reports page can you see we could see two pages xx emp dml page and also we could see xx reports page also okay so this is how we can achieve using the you know like a navigation one so using just desktop navigation menu you can just try to achieve so that's what you know like uh, we just want to consider in this one i just provided all the list of navigation in this one okay so how do we create an application and how do we create a page so in my case i just consider form and interactive grid fashion kind of page okay and this is the page this is how it looks like and similarly i just created a report which is of style interactive report just assigned this so there are if you observe carefully like when you create a page or a report right so during creation itself we can assign the page to a hierarchy i mean to say if you already have a menu properly designed you can just simply assign during creation or later stage also you can do it because when you generally when you start with the design time right this there is a lot of chances you know like you may not be aware of what is the navigation you want to follow right just independently let's assign let's finish our component first and then later on you can assign your component to appropriate navigation that's how we generally try to achieve right so that's how Oracle provides. Like uh, there are a couple of ways. Either you, during design time you can do it, or you can once your page is designed, also you can assign to appropriate menu. Also you can achieve it. So other one is a blank page. So blank page I just want to assign, just want to create a blank page, so that you know it's kind of I'm just considering it as a landing page. Okay, that's the reason I just created a blank page. So navigation menu. Just now we discussed how we create a navigation menu, right? So I just mentioned like what is the way, what is the process of creating a navigation menu. Okay. So these are the list of pages, list of components which we created in this particular sample. Fine. So, yep. Thank you.